evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Tuesday, 25th of May, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, we have an update on the SKNABA National Bank Basketball League from Saturday night. And in our feature for this evening, Amir takes first place in CSS Junior Boys Cross Country event. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. Hi everyone, my name is Nayela Daniel and I have a very important message for you. Be safe, protect yourself and others, and practice social distancing. Stay updated by following the Health Promotion Unit on Facebook and Instagram or contact us at 469-8010. Well, I'm back and we start with basketball. Two games were played on Saturday, 22nd May in the National Bank Senior League. In Game 1, Fire and Rescue Firestorm defeated Kayon Lions in a close encounter, 63-60. to This gave the Firemen their first victory for the season. For the Firestorm, Simba Hanley, 19 points, 10 rebounds. Leroy Martin, 16 points, 5 rebounds. For Kayon, Jaron Brown, 26 points, 13 rebounds and Vernon Paris, 12 points, 6 rebounds. In Game 2, Challengers Exodus defeated ASC Wolfpack 86-82 in another exciting encounter. For Exodus, Chesney James, 18 points, 12 rebounds, Jamel Sutton, 22 points, 13 rebounds, and Delvin Marshall, 14 points, 11 rebounds. For the Wolfpacks, Calbert Doerr, 30 points, 4 rebounds. Cheslin Hutton, 26 points, 11 assists. And Akian Stevens, 14 points, 6 rebounds. Now to cricket. Cricket West Indies was set to host the West Indies Professional Cricketers Draft for the 2021-2022 cricket season earlier today, Tuesday, May 25th, via video call. The Territorial Board franchises would have convened to draft their final two players for their squads to play in the upcoming season, which will hopefully include the CG Insurance Super 50 Cup and the West Indies Championship. The draft was to be conducted over two rounds, where each franchise must pick a, pl must pick a player in each round. Each franchise was set to pick two players to add to their pre-selected squad of 13 protected players to make a full squad of 15 players. The franchises should have selected their two picks from a pool of nearly 100 players. Sticking with regional cricket, the Jamaica Talawas have announced their retentions for the 2021 Hero Caribbean Premier League, which runs from 28th of August to 19th September in St. Kitts and Nevis. The Talawas have retained West Indies all-rounder Andrew Russell and Carlos Bratwit, as well as Rovman Powell and Chadwick Walton. Fidel Edwards returns to the Hero CPL, who returned to the Hero CPL in 2020 and has been held on to for the 2021 season after impressing with his pace last year. The Talawas are also welcoming back left arm spinner via Sami Pumal and their ICC Americas player from last season, Ryan Passard. The Talawas have 10 spots to fill to complete their squad, and these will be announced in the upcoming weeks. And so the retentions are Andrew Russell, Carlos Bratwit, Rovman Powell, Chadwick Walton, Fidel Edwards, Vyasami Pomal, and Ryan Prasad. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Breathe. Release. Transform. Embrace.
Well, I'm back, and tonight, athletics is in the spotlight. There was a buzz of excitement at the Charleston Secondary School on Wednesday, 19 May. After all, the school was set to host its annual cross-country events, and the athletes were as ready as they could get. The junior boys got out of the blocks first, and in the latter stage of the race, there was an exciting showdown between Amir Paris and Cairo Archibald. The two lads stayed virtually side by side as they made their exit from Bath Village and as they entered the final stretch of road towards the finish line. They both gave their final effort, but Amir pulled away as Cairo wilted under the pressure to take first spot. Cairo placed an honorary second. So the top results were first, Amir Paris, second, Cairo Archibald, third, Julian Richards, and fourth, Nikwan Davis. Thanks to Swain Evelyn and his staff at the communications unit, we got some of the action. Remy Gums is doing running commentary. First class, meaning first farmers alone, but these are the junior boys. And there's a relatively, there's a relatively big bunch. So Nikusi has already started to walk, so have stopped. Little blown. Others are keeping their pace. And we are nearing the top of Government Road. 
And the athlete who's in front, he seems to be of a Indian or Guyanese descendant. So it's good to see that we have, you know, some of the foreigners are, uh, you know, different type of people coming into our island and excelling. And we see second, third and fourth is battling. And I think I remember this one from Charlestown in the blue. Also a very good athlete. I think his mother is, uh, I still don't know the name, but you know, she leads the cheerleading at every sport, every sporting event here in Nevis. And I think it's as long as Nevis is involved or Charlestown. So I'm familiar with a few of the faces from primary school here, now in high school. And you know, keeping up uh, their reputation as good athletes. So first place is at a distant first, but second, third and fourth is an interesting battle that I'm certain most will love to see at the end of um, these races. Let's take a look behind and see how the other athletes are coming and we have fifth place. And sixth place seems to be holding his um, tummy area. But fifth place has a steady pace going. And we're here on Pump Road, just passing the popular area where they have um, the water department barbecue events. Uh, every weekend, Fridays specifically. And here we see the race have a different complexion where I think it's Amir is his name. He's leading the pack now in front. And it seems as though he represents Blue House. And the other young fellow is right there beside him. He was vying for third and fourth and second place position as well. But now they're battling for first and second. And we are now in the vicinity of Rams Supermarket and the Bad Cemetery. Still a distance away from the finishing line, but these two athletes are maintaining the uh, stamina. And the bit of water certainly makes those at least look refreshed. And revitalized. And third place is behind in a distant. Third place, yes, it is very far behind. The camera can barely pick it up. So these two athletes have certainly widened the gap between themselves <coughs> and all the other participants in this race. And it's amazing the stamina and endurance these young men have based on the distance they have been running and the steady pace they are keeping up here while in first and second place is almost what we call blam blam at this moment but we'll see who will pull out and left the other behind in the dust as we reach the finishing line
So it's blue house and some other color. Might be red. I think I see a red vest peeping out. That might be an indication. So it's uh, presumably a battle between blue house and red house. A very interesting race here in front. To find fun to see what's going on behind. And now this way should be a little easier for the athletes as they are coming downhill now. Still in the bad region. And we are now heading back up another hill here in Bat. But uphill, downhill, it makes no difference to these athletes as they are maintaining their pace steady. Not stopping to take any breaths, at least not as yet. Still uphill and they are going strong as ever. I could be wrong but my instincts is telling me that they are the one who is keeping each other at the front of this race. Each being motivated by the other. Each not wanting to be left behind in such a tight battle. Still in Bad Village, not certain of the name of the streets and other areas, but we are still in Bad Village. And the race is on between these two athletes, stiff as ever. A nice competitive battle here at the front. Could hardly ask for more from two junior athletes at this moment. Diego taking a little refresh of some cool water getting themselves revitalized and gearing up to reach the finishing line. And it's blue and red. Blue and red. Red and blue. That's all the competition seems to be about here at this moment between Blue House and Red House. A very stiff battle. Not from the beginning between these two as they were another athlete or two leading the race. But for quite some time, these two athletes have taken the mantle and are giving the viewers what they paid for or didn't pay for. A nice competitive battle here at the front. Still in Bad Village, heading downhill now. So this should be somewhat of a relief to the athletes. 
course you hear some of the supporters and the cheerers in the back. So it's Amir and the other young chap. Much shorter than Amir, but he is very determined. Very determined youngster, whomsoever he may be. And he's not giving up the race without a fight. Neither is Amir, of course. And I'm certain if his mother is close to the finishing line, that will be enough to tug him right home <laughs> to victory. I can imagine the excitement in advance. Not so know what the battle is like behind, but at this moment, who cares? A very intriguing and interesting battle at the front. And Red House is slightly in front at this moment. Will he maintain it? The Blue House looks like he's taking back the lead. They are now at an equilibrium state <laughs> and it's a very interesting battle here between these two. And you hear the bell so you know it's close to finishing line here by Carl's gas station. Certainly you are going to hear the crowds and see the people. The battle is stiffer than ever between these two. And there Ami has taken the lead certainly. Amir coming in first, a distant first. So Julian is a third athlete, a distant third.
Well, thank you so much, Remy. That's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and a sacrifice. Have a good night.